Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Today we're going over everything you need to know about Toy Day, including how to take part in the event and unlock all of the items. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So we are now only a couple of days away from finally meeting Jingle, the special reindeer character for the first time, who will kickstart the brand new Toy Day event. Jingle will stop by the plaza on the 24th of December, with the Toy Day celebrations beginning from 5am that morning in both hemispheres. Of course, as things stand at the moment, the event is currently time locked, but will likely become available in the next two or three days with the version number updating to 1.6.0C. So before you start playing on the 24th, just be sure your game has the correct version number, otherwise you won't see the event. We've been over how to do this in the past, but basically just make sure you have a Nintendo account linked to your profile and have the clock set to the correct time on the Switch and you should be good. Anyway, to start the event on the 24th, you simply have to speak with Jingle who will hand over the DIY recipe for the brand new festive wrapping paper. Each sheet requires one red ornament, one blue ornament and one gold ornament to craft. These can of course be found by shaking the recently decorated cedar trees. You will need to craft a minimum of three and return them to Jingle who will then ask you to help deliver gifts for the entire island. He will then hand over his magic bag which contains a bunch of presents for the villagers from Santa as well as the first holiday themed reward called the Toy Day Stockings, but more on those later. Once you have the magic bag you can equip it like any other tool and pretty much begin the event and start delivering presents. Now the magic bag will contain a gift for every single villager currently on your island which can be delivered in any order. Simply track down each animal whether they're inside their houses or roaming around outside somewhere on the island and talk with them with the bag equipped to hand over their present. The entire thing is automatic and you don't need any prior knowledge to do this. It's actually impossible to hand over the wrong item. The Toy Day event runs from 5am that morning through to 5am the next day, so the only thing you really need to be careful of is catching your villager before they fall asleep at night to make sure you give them their gift. Now we don't ever see what the gifts are really, but behind the scenes they're actually just fruit, so you don't need to worry about the gifts affecting the items inside their houses, which is super handy. Anyway, the more presents you deliver on Jingle's behalf, the more Toy Day rewards you get. If you successfully deliver more than half of the items in the magic bag, Jingle will reward you with the DOI recipe for the gift pile item. However, if you deliver every single item and return the magic bag to Jingle, he'll also reward you with the Toy Day Slay, which is super cool. If you ever need to check how many presents you have left during Toy Day or who else you need to deliver to, you can check the contents of the magic bag from your pockets. And that's pretty much all there is to the actual event, at least in terms of delivering presents to villagers. The final task to ensure you get all of the Toy Day items is to hang your recently acquired Toy Day stockings on the wall in your house ready for Santa that evening. If you do and check it the next day, on the 25th of December, Jingle's photo can be found inside the stockings, which I think is a really cool little attention to detail. So yeah, unlike Toy Day in previous games, this is a much simpler event to take part in. Of course, if you do miss the event for whatever reason, don't worry, you can always time travel back to it once it's unlocked. However, it seems that Jingle's photo has to be obtained on the 25th, so just bear that in mind. Anyway, it's also worth mentioning that you don't need to buy and wear the Santa outfit in order to deliver these presents and take part in the event. You can literally wear whatever you like, but personally, I think it'd be much more fun to wear the outfit anyway. So there we have it, that's pretty much everything there is to know about Toy Day and delivering gifts and how to get all of the Toy Day items. But what do you think about this event? Do you wish there was more to it like in previous games or are you happy with the gift giving mechanic in New Horizons? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Anyway for now, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you're an Animal Crossing fan don't forget to subscribe as I'm hoping to continue to upload a bunch of new content. Until then, I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters as well as this channel's members you guys absolutely rock and truly help me upload as regularly as I do I couldn't do it without you don't forget to head over to our discord server too and of course if you made it to the end of the video please comment jingle just to let me know you did that would be super awesome and please be sure to include whether or not you're going to be taking part in the toy day event on the 24th I'd love to know anyway I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining please be sure to leave a like if you did thanks for watching I hope you have an amazing day stay safe and I'll see you on my next video peace